if you want to be a power user on Linux, you literally must, must, must learn bash scripting. Like you can't not learn bash scripting. It literally is so essential to actually utilizing Linux to its fullest. And you know, today I'm just going to show you how you can literally do all the, you know, boring stuff just quickly, like just automate all the boring stuff. You don't have to do anything. So let's go right into it. So what the thing is like, why should you actually learn bash scripting? And number one is honestly that it just saves you time. You know, it's just very, you know, time efficient. You don't have to do the same thing over and over again. It's mind numbing. It's pointless. Just why not do it in a script like that, you know? And then number two is that it gets you a better understanding of how Linux, how the terminals work and just generally you can just understand and do things better. The more you play around with bash scripting, you're probably gonna have to use some tools that you actually wouldn't usually use. You know, you'll use like maybe sed, grep, stuff like that. So then when you're encountering times where you have to use the terminal, not even to bash script, like you just want to do something like normally, just a one-time thing, you can use these tools and like, oh yeah, okay, I know how to use this tool. I can use this in this instance. So you'll just get a more broad knowledge of the terminal. Number three is that bash scripts are just extremely flexible. You know, you do it. It's like, oh, okay, you know what? I actually wanted to do with this purpose. It's very easy to just quickly change. It's not, you don't have to be a big brain. It's basically, it's programming but on a very basic level, because instead of like the difference between programming and scripting would be that programming, you're given these just very basic fundamentals, and then you have to build something from that. Whereas scripting, you have programs that already build up from the fundamentals, and then you're using it in a script, you're chaining it together to do a bigger task, you know? So that's how, that's the basic difference. And scripts are very simple like it literally is just terminal commands and chaining terminal ca commands together and like maybe some if statements if else you know all that very basic stuff and then finally bash scripts are portable so you make a script for your system it's very likely it will almost work on any other system unless it's using some very specific things usually every script is portable you know maybe you just have to download a program or two and that's it if you really have to but honestly like fundamentals of what you're going to be using most of the time in a script apply to nearly any system. So it's extremely portable with anything, even on probably even Windows and Mac. Okay, so let's get into examples of how you can automate some very boring stuff with bash scripting. So number one is changing or just opening up PDFs. So, you know, on Linux, now you could use like a GUI program, a GUI program where you know, Adobe Viewer just opens up and then you can click and then you wait and stuff, but that's boring. It takes too long. We want to do it quicker, faster, simpler. There's actually a program that is an excellent PDF uh, viewer. It's called Zafura. Zafura is a very great program. You type in Zafura and then you type in the PDF. So let's say, okay, you know, I want to open up my PDF in my documents folder. Uh, let's do, yeah, let's open up a, oh my bad, a Latin textbook. Boom. And it works instant and then i can just look at it this takes too long though we can do this even quicker why should i have to go through my documents pdfs and then which category you know so instead what i do is you know i open up the menu i type in pdfs and then boom i have a script or i have a drop down menu of my categories and okay you know what i want to read a philosophy book let's read meditations on first philosophy and boom there you have it simple easy i don't know if you can maybe a quicker way to even like automate this is instead of opening up d menu you just have a keybind that instantly opens up the the pdfs the whole menu but extremely quick easy the lines of code are extremely simple i actually made a video going into depth um so yeah i won't show it here but i have another video you can go check that out i have it linked in a card and you can see how i did that script Another way you can automate some boring stuff is just changing your wallpaper. You know, I like to change my wallpaper quite frequently. You know, right now I've got this like moon thing, moon in a plane looks pretty cool. And I change my wallpapers through using fair, fair. And then it's like some command. Now I don't even remember the command because why should I keep typing in and remembering the same command and then go through my same thing? Like I shouldn't, again, like I shouldn't have to go through my pictures and then my wallpapers and then select the wallpaper. Instead, again, we're going to use the menu. We're going to type in wallpaper and then boom, I have all my wallpapers. Let's say I want to do Cove. Now I got this image. 
or let's say I want to do, you know, like you get the point. It just changes your wallpaper and um, it works excellent, you know? So I'm just going to set it back to the wallpaper before, but yeah, as simple as that. No need to type in the same commands repetitively. You know, again, let's say I want to check uh, the price of Bitcoin. Again, this is both of these I have made videos on. Oh, okay. It's 23K. Uh, there's been 8.8% cha uh, change today. You know, it shows you all the stats that I care about. Again, very simple script. This one was a bit more complex. I have a video on this as well. Um, let's say I want to watch movies. This is a program I didn't make. I haven't made a video on this. This was made by Bugs Rider. I'll, I'll link his video as well. Uh, not Flix. Now, I actually don't... Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. This is my fork of it. And... Um, you know, let's say I want to watch a movie and I want to watch Avengers, then it shows me this and I can just watch a torrent of whatever movie, show, anime, whatever. Although, to be honest, even though I worked on the script to get it to be working how I like it, I don't think I actually ever use it because I don't really watch movies or anything like that. But, you know, it's there. Again, this one is a bit more of a complex script, but it works well, does what you need it to do. And yeah. And then finally, something like setting up a webcam. I made a video on this as well. But, you know, instead of having to type in, um, you know, usually you would probably type in, in this, like there's many different ways you can have a program do it for you. But if you want to have it set up very specifically, like how, how I have it, where it's a window and, um, you know, just <laughs> does its thing. You know, I like how like the very minimalist my setup is. Well, you have to do it in a very specific way. So, Usually you would have to do FF play and then do dev slash video zero. So let me just close this. I open this and then it does the same thing. Now I just opened up the webcam. Why should I do this? Make it simpler. Webcam. Boom. Same thing. You know, it's just about as minimizing as much time we waste because again, Linux, I've said this a million times, but Linux, the point of Linux is to do things as productively as possible. It's a computer. Computers are used to do work. So you need to analyze, you need to evaluate, am I using my computer to its fullest? Am I doing everything as well as I could be? If not, if you're wasting your time on typing out, you know, random stuff, like, oh, typing, like, oh, I want to change my wallpaper. I'm going to do fair and then just, you know, whatever. If you're wasting your time like that, then, and, and you're on Linux, especially like if you're an army, you don't care, fine, keep doing it. But if you want to truly be a power user, truly be using your computer to the max, then you need to start thinking about how using your computer. You know, I'll show you guys even a couple more, you know, for me, I like to read books. And then sometimes when I read the books, not, not all the time, but sometimes I'll write a summary of it as I'm doing it. And I have a, um, this is not really like, this is not really bash scripting, but in my Zish RC, so like my whole, I don't even know how to describe Zish. Like I have all these different um, commands to just quickly open up certain things. So if I type in book, it opens up this directory where I have different, you know, books that I'll like read. You know, I can click on the .md extension and then boom, I'll just have it. I can have a couple key presses, open up the PDF and stuff and then boom. You know, so there's, there's many different ways you can automate your work. And again, it's all about efficiency. So increase your efficiency, the better you are at your computer, the more you're using it. Like why waste time on pointless things? We'd rather have, you know, we only have a selected amount of time. We may as well use as much time as possible to do work, to be productive instead of doing random pointless things that can be done quicker, simpler. So, you know, it's as simple as that, you know, again, so learn bash scripting saves time. You learn more about the terminal. It's flexible and it's portable can be changed and it can go on any system. So yeah, I hope this video has been informative. It's helped you guys. If it has, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.